What's going on guys, Sessin here and welcome to Minecraft. Today we'll show you 5 awesome tricks that you can use with the torches in this game. So let's get start. So yeah, who thought that the torches could be used for something other than lighting your way in the house and stuff? You know, I mean, that, yeah, the torches actually have a lot of other uses other than simply lighting your uh, way. So uh, yeah, they're basically more important than the torches in real life. Or candles in real life. I don't think torches exist in real life, but uh, candles do uh, until this very day. So, uh, yeah, I would say they are way more, you know, uh, valuable or way more important than candles in real life. But, uh, yeah, anyways, let's get started. Alright, let me just get a bunch of torches so that I would show you the tricks. Uh, to uh, I wrote torches literally. Okay, there we go. There's a bunch of torches. Now let's go to survival. And let's get right into showing you the tricks that you could use with the torches in this game. So, uh, yeah, let's get right to it. So the first trick that you could do is that you can actually use torches to breathe underwater. So uh, let me show you how you do it. All you gotta do is to just put yourself next to the wall, right next to the wall, any wall. So you dig your you dig your way into any wall and then stay right next to it. And once your bubbles actually go down, once you are almost dead, you can simply put the torch in the wall next to you and you will refill your bubbles again. And once they go down again, okay, let me just wait for them to go down. Once they go down again, you can actually recharge the bubbles one more time by putting the torch on the wall and you can literally do this for infinite amount of time so uh, let me just wait for it there we go and you can literally recharge your bubbles for infinite amount of time with the torches underwater so yeah that's the first trick you can do with the torches in this game you can actually use it as a way or a method to breathe underwater for an infinite amount of time and it's really really helpful Oh my god, are you hungry already? Seriously? I mean, what the hell? How, how long does it take for him to be hungry? Okay, let's just let's just bring me 64 freaking steaks so that whenever he's hungry, I'll just feed him right away. What the hell? He gets hungry extremely fast in this game. Okay, never mind. Eat, Mr. Easiest person in the planet to starve in the history of existence. Eat. The second trick that you could do with the torches is that you can navigate your path inside the caves. Let me explain how. Once you are inside the cave, just make sure to put the torches on the right side of you. Never put the torches on the left side. Just always put the torches on the right side and that's it. So that once you are uh, far enough inside a cave and you want to go back, all you got to do is to make the torches on your left and keep making them on your left as you move and you'll be able to walk outside the cave so easily. So yeah, let me show you one more time in this part because this part of the cave is longer than this part, hopefully. I mean, this part was too much uh, small to be a cave. So uh, you, all you gotta do is to put the torches on your right all the time. Just keep putting the torches on your li uh, right. Oh crap, I forgot to bring a sword with me. I forgot to bring a freaking sword. Okay, let me just give, uh, get me a sword real quick. There we go, there we go. Exactly, a sword. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. And let's just kill them while I'm in survival so that I will just, I will just get done with it. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh yeah, because it's recharged and whatever. So yeah, what I was saying is that all you gotta do is to put the torches on your right and that's literally all that you gotta do in order for you uh, to uh, navigate your path. Keep the torches on your right all the time. On your right, on your right, there we go. Yeah, and keep ma making them on your right. And once you actually reach a certain point in the cave where you actually want to go back, just make the torches on your left all the time. And keep making them on your left and you'll be able to get back into the world so easily. But the thing is that if you put the torches by mistake randomly without putting them on the exact right, you will actually get lost. So you want to make sure to put them always on the right side. That's that. That's the thing. Now for the next trick of the torch, let me just dig myself down a little bit. There we go. There we go. I want to dig myself. Okay, hold on a second. I, I will bring myself a pickaxe. You know, I'll bring everything I will ever need. Okay, hold on. Where the freaking... Okay, there we go. A pickaxe and... Oh, oh come on. Just give me the freaking pick. And... Okay. There we go. I, I don't think I'll need anything else. Now, uh, back to survival. Alright, so the second trick I want to talk about uh, will require me to go down a little bit. There we go. Now, if you put a torch right here and then break the freaking uh, sword as you can see the torch actually gathers the sand as you can see right there so yeah this is one another cool trick that you can use torches for in this game is that if you put a torch down there and then break the freaking uh, you know the thing that separates it from the sand the sand will actually go down and it will actually be gathered all the way through by using the torch so this is a really really cool method that you can use to actually gather sand so quickly because sand actually get through where the hell did that water come from okay never mind because so uh, because uh, torches actually break sand and and help you gather them quickly 
And by the way, this method also works with every single block that falls down in this game, also known as only the sand and the gravel in this game. So yeah, the sand and the gravel are the only two blocks that actually fall down in this game, and the torches break both of them. The torches actually breaks both of these uh, blocks and you can gather them quickly so yeah you can use the sand to actually quickly gather sand and gravel in this game now for the next trick is that now I showed you that uh, the torch can actually be used to break the sand guess what it can't just break the sand it can also be used okay hold on a second it can also be uh, used to hold the sand up now actually this depends on the position of the torch if the torch is placed in the wall it will actually uh, hold them up if the torch is placed under it in the ground it will actually break it so as you can see if I remove the torch the sand will go down so yeah this also the sand uh, the torch can be actually used to hold sand up and prevent it from falling and uh, if it was placed in the position that it is attached to the wall but if it's in the ground it will break them so uh, yeah the torch actually can do a lot of things to sand as you can tell the next trick I want to show you is this okay hold on a second so as you can see if you put a torch right there you can actually uh, hold on you can actually build off it so that's a really really cool method for you to build stuff if you can actually put a torch anywhere you can actually use it to build stuff from it then you can remove everything around it so that you would make the block floating in the space for no reason like that so uh, yeah this is a really cool method of building just put a torch anywhere right there and uh, no no not here put a torch anywhere and you can actually use a torch to build off it something uh, other things uh, so yeah it can actually be used as a regular block it's kind of cool all right let me just set the time in today because i hate darkness i hate it more than anything there we go okay now the freaking uh sun went into the other side that's pretty cool so yeah, these are all the tricks that I could think of right now that you could use the torches for in this game. I think I told you five tricks in this uh, video, didn't I? Breathing underwater, navigate, and uh, breaking the sand, and holding it up, and building off. Yeah, I actually told you five tricks. So uh, yeah, these are five cool tricks that you could use torches for in this game. And if there are any more tricks, I might let you know in the future. Okay, he is hungry again. He keeps being hungry for the rest of eternity. What do you think about this? Okay, I, I think I'm gonna have to kill a lot of animals so that I would keep him stopped anyways yeah these are the five awesome tricks you could use torches for in this game and that's all thanks for watching see you guys later bye